With the Black Tusk and True Sons Alliance set and Captain Lewis troops joining the division, new battle lines are drawn. Natalia Sokolova has come out of the shadows and is taking a more active and visible role leading the Black Tusk on more aggressive campaigns across Washington. Additionally, hunters have been more active in the capital and a new recruit emerges to help decipher encrypted hunter drone files. This is season 11, Reign of Fire. This season we fight our way across four new targets all the way to our prime target, Stovepipe. Big surprise when you first log on to the game and find out that we are rebuilding the castle settlement. What? How? Why? I'm sure we'll get to these answers by the end of season 11 or the start of year 5. But if you watch the trailer closely you would have noticed this. Season 11 brings us two new exotics, a new brand set and a new gear set, three named weapons and a lot of changes for both the quality of life as the game stability. Of course this is not why you are here, so let's spend 10 bucks on the season pass and take a look at our season 11 targets. General Anderson's true sons are embedded with the Black Tusk and have been helping Sokolova increase her fleet of hovercrafts in DC. After Coney Island, I'm concerned about potential mortar strikes. First up, Charles Trunks Crawford, ex-Navy, pure sadist. An engineer by trade, he has control issues and very little respect for the sanctity of human life. Lieutenant Banton, used to be a drone operator for the army. He believes he isn't responsible for someone's death unless he gets their blood on him. Banton will tell you he's never killed anyone because he's never had blood on his hands. But he's murdered thousands. Mort cursed Kellogg. This guy has the worst luck. Rumor is he is a compulsive gambler, got into debt with the wrong people and enlisted to try and pay back the loan sharks. They say he won the lotto on Black Friday and couldn't collect his winnings. Pretty sure loan sharks are the least of his problems now. Beatrice Anti Kaplan. I know her as Petty Officer Kaplan. She killed a guy during basic because he called her Anti. You kill a guy for giving you a nickname and then you make everyone call you that so they never forget what happens to people who mess with you? She's petty and dangerous. And last but not least, Zachary Stovepipe Beatty. I hate this guy. He thinks he's untouchable. He used to be an explosive ordnance disposal specialist. Pretty sure it was just an excuse to blow shit up, since all he ever does now is blow shit up. Frankly, I don't trust men that pretty. They always get away with too much shit. Stovepipe and his team are heavily armed, ruthless, and know every inch of this city. They know where to strike to do the most damage physically and psychologically. Good luck tracking them down. I look forward to working with you, Agent. Yeah, 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 ye